drug of choice. This thing has been floating around in the industry, on the streets, all over the world. Drug of choice. I don't even know what that means, drug of choice. Drugs are drugs. We don't take drugs. Now, this new generation of people, they seem to feel that drugs is tolerable. It hides pain. It makes everything go away. But realistically, it doesn't. Because as you can see, there's a lot of shit that comes with somebody who's consuming drugs. If I seen that this was happening there's it around me in my community, especially for something like this to be happening in Brooklyn, I don't even know if, if I would be able to even consume that type of drugs if that was, quote unquote, my drug of choice. If you do the research on what fentanyl or fentanyl or I don't even know how to pronounce that shit but if you do the research on what it is this is a high dosage of medication that, that's used to tranquilize like this shit could kill like exotic wild huge animals with one dose so to me it's like I don't even understand like you know what I mean like you're gonna put something in your dope that's gonna kill your clients and then you're gonna see your clients dying and continue to sell to other clients like something has to come back on you like like, it's just common sense you know what I mean like who do you think you are like right now there's too much forensic sciences there's too much TV there's too much friggin, like, a lot of bullshit, bro. I just don't understand, bro. What makes you think that you're gonna sell somebody laced drugs or drugs that that are that are, to me, not consumable? Period. Unless you're in pain, which which is what those drugs are used for. It doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Like four four people, four people, four lives arrested. One life gone. It doesn't make any sense, man. I get it. Like, you know what I mean? Dude flew to Puerto Rico, you know, thought he was cool and shit. But yo, bro, they coming for you, bro. This is a this is a, this is a known actor, bro. This guy's like this guy's like has the best show that's been on TV since TV's been created to to urban black people. I'm gonna leave it right there. The Wire is one of the best shows that ever, ever came on TV. And you're going to tell me that you think that something's going to happen to a person like that and they're not going to investigate? Even if their family didn't want to investigate. The police want to investigate. I keep telling you guys, the police are clout chasers just like these trolls out here. So that's what I'm trying to show you. If you think that you're going to get away with, with something like that, like, that's yo, bro, at the end of the day, bro, smoke some weed, bro. Niggas out here like, yo, put your money together. Band your money together with your niggas. Open a dispensary. They've been locking us up for, for, for weed forever, bro. Time to get that get back. Open a, try to try to get some money together. Open a dispensary if that's the route that you want to go. If you don't want to go out there and hustle. And you want to, you know what I mean? You want to, you want to, you want to just get quick money. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you and your dudes put your money together. You guys open a legal dispensary. You guys come out with a strain of weed. You guys see it. It's New York. You guys see Cameron doing it. You guys see you guys see um um Beanie Siegel doing it on in Philly. You, bro, get it done. Cause if you can stand out on the corner with your dudes and flip packs, bro, you guys could put your money together and you guys could open a legal dispensary and get your money the right way. Because of this route, I don't know, man. This ain't even drugs, yo. You guys are selling death. That's all I can say. You guys are selling death, bro. Because that's not drugs, bro. Like, drugs is something you're supposed to get somebody hooked on it and they're supposed to keep coming back so that you could provide for your family. I know it sounds fucked up and shit, but that's just the way how it, that, that's, that's what it is. It's not supposed to, you're supposed to sell sell something and then the person's supposed to die and then you're supposed to find another person to take it. 
It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, honestly, it doesn't make any sense, yo. Get a job. You know what I mean? This is a new form of hustling right now. Like, you could do anything you want and make money out of it. When we were younger and shit, you couldn't even open a business without going all the way downtown, waiting in line. They'd have to send paperwork away. They'd have to come back. And then, boom, you probably still wouldn't even get the name for your company. Now it's like, yo, bro, you're going online, you're registering, and then you have a business in like 40 minutes, bro. You don't know how to do it. Ask somebody. Shit, ask us. We help people all day, every day, man. There's no shame in the game, bro. We help people. You know what I'm saying? But R.I.P. Michael Williams. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was crazy. And even though we blaming these dudes right now, it's like, you can't even blame them too because it's like, bro, you, you know, <laughs> you're, 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 you're 50% responsible because you're consuming the drugs. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that this could probably kill you. You got a family, you know what I'm saying? You probably have roles coming up. Yo, smoke some weed, bro. And we smoking that Reggie, bro. Smoke some real, real weed, bro. Spend your money, get some good weed, get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? And just kick back. Cause yo, I don't know, I don't even know what kind of high you trying to obtain if you want to get close to death, bro. That's like the weirdest shit I've ever fucking heard of. It literally makes no sense to me. Lives wasted, bro. Four in prison, one dead. And probably there's going to be more investigations into shit because that's not going to be over for now, bro. That's not going to be over. We're probably going to hear more shit. But, yo, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Instagram at Front Page Fades. Slide in the DMs. Let us know what you want us to talk about. If you want us to talk about anything. And yo, you already know. We're going to keep it coming, all right? <laughs>